Welcome to the testing world. In this session, I'm going to cover components of Blue Prism. So while working on Blue Prism, we are going to interact with two studio. Studio, we can understand it's an editor where we are going to autom we are going to write our automation script. And here for writing the script, we need not to go for any coding. So studio means area where we are going to write our script. And we are going to have two type of studios. One is object studio and one is process studio. And if you want to see it, so in previous session, I have already shown you. I'm just going to show you again. Here we have processes so we can create a process, new process here like create process. And once the process is created, just double click on that. So new process studio will be open and we can automate our, our scenario by using this process studio we have different options for it in the same way we have object studio again we need to create object right click and create object and once we created that we can double click on it and start it and again we have different options here which we can use for automating automating our business process how we are going to work on these studios I'll show you in the next session as of now I'll, I'm showing what are the different components we are having here in the blue prism so as in the previous session I have already covered when you want to interact with any other application means you want to interact with uh, window based application web based application you want to interact with Java client application you want to read data from external source you want to write data so in that kind of scenario when you want to interact with other kind of application we need object studio and whatever the automation we are doing in this object studio, we call it visual business object. So here, if I show you on my blue prism, whatever the automation we are doing here, we call it visual business object. So here, whatever we are doing like Excel automation, currency converter automation. So that is called visual business object. And once we automated these individual component so whatever that interface or whatever the application we are automating external application we are automating we call it vbo each vbo implement a particular set of operations means if you want to automate excel so whatever the operations we are done on the excel we call it one vbo vbo example could be you entering some data into a particular screen you are retrieving some data then logging off so whatever the task we are doing on an application or I'll say external application that is one VBO and in the easy word I can say that whatever the automation script that you have created here in the object studio we call it visual business object in the same way we have one more studio we call it blue prism process studio I'll show you here on the blue prism so that's my processes and whatever the process here double click on any process that is my process studio so we also have the different options which we can use to automate any process and this process studio is used to automate end-to-end -end tasks here while creating the end-to-end -end process we can use what all the VBOs which we have created here in the object studio so means first we are going to create different VBO in the object studio and these VBO behave as a library which we can use to automate our end-to-end -end process by using by using process studio so we have two main component which as a RPA developer we are going to use one is process studio and one is object studio then we have the SQL server database SQL server database is the prerequisite which we are going to which we install before installing the blue prism whatever the process or whatever the process that we have automated whatever the VBO we have created what all the users we have created everything is going to store into this SQL Server database and it is supporting only one database which is SQL Server Microsoft SQL Server then we have control room control room and if I show you where the control room is so if you check it here we have the control room and this control room is going to use uh, here we can get all the information about the running processes we can schedule any process we can see the information about any process that we have automated so every information about the processes that we have created in process studio 
can be seen here. In the same way, we have system manager with the help of which we can view audit logs, means all the logs that are generating. We can create user, we can delete users. So whatever the task, whatever the admin task you want to do, you can do, you can do it here in the system manager. And if you want to check it here, so here we have the option of the system and you can check it. That's the system manager screen. But that is, that is the admin task. If you are working as a RPA developer, you are not going to interact here. So here we have seen all the components which on which we are going to work while working with the Blue Prism. That's all we have for this session. Thanks for watching this video.